just your initial reaction to Governor Markell's state of the state. I thought it was a good state of the state address. I was some very promising comments there. Uh, obviously, the one that pops out the most for for me as being from Seaford is the announcement of ILC coming to uh, coming to Seaford. That's been in the works for a while, and it was a. Uh, great that he announced that today uh, uh mike vincent who was in the audience from the uh, county council and i had talked about it and and the governor's office had briefed us with alan levin on what was going on so this is a big deal for c for 115 jobs which if i don't know if you caught it or not they're not jobs that are brought from another area where people were already employed there these are jobs that are coming back into the uh, continental u.s and uh, will be located in a nice warehouse facility west of seaford so that's a pretty big deal so. with regards to the discussions that are coming with the taxes either hikes or cuts or whatever they end up being what would you like to see done well you know certainly the issue that has to be continually said and brought to the table is the fact that small business is being pinched right now. We, you know, a lot of employees out there got a pay cut. I mean, a lot of people have not even talked about it. with the push down from the feds on the uh, employment tax, people got their paychecks cut. And the business people had to deal with that. The workers' compensation is a 40% number that was originally out there. Now it's around 20. That's still a huge number. The Affordable Care Act, we heard from the chief executive Highmark at the state chamber dinner on Monday night. He flat out told the business world there of 935 people, your costs are going to increase. They're not going to decrease with affordable care. And so you take all those things and put them together, they're looking at some major increases, and maybe they're expecting us to say, okay, you promised you're only going to have these taxes for three years they're going away now what are you going to do about it so that discussion is a very key discussion in the success of the economy of the state of delaware which plays right back to the governor's state of the state a lot of initiatives with education great stuff but can we afford it and it all plays back to the economy because education ties to the economy very distinctly so and lastly anything you didn't hear that you wished you did a little bit more for our area on the western side of the county, being very personal now, not talking, you know, totally uh, uh, from, but it could be a total state a issue, is the uh, equalization for school funding. Uh, there's a real inequity per school up and down the state. It was addressed with regard to teachers and their salaries and that sort, but even in the school for education aspects, for example, on the western side of the county, it's about 10,500, 10,800 per student, and on the eastern side of the county, it's almost as high as 15,500. So, you know, why? You know, a parent on the western side says, why would a, t why would a child on the eastern side have 5,000 more dollars dedicated to that one individual's education, and why don't I get the same? So that, that discussion, I think, has to take place so that the schools on the western side, the public schools, can survive. Tell me, what's your initial reaction to the governor's state of the state? Well, I um, am very excited to hear some of the governor's proposals, and, and we are very supportive of his proposals for to lead our state forward, both in education, safety, and in teaching. Was there something that stood out to you as maybe if, if you could only get one of these proposals done, what's the one that has to get done this year? I think for me, it was the teaching to improve our teaching and to, to um, change our teacher compensation plan so we can um, make sure we honor and support our teachers because the having a great teacher is what makes our education system terrific in Delaware. Absolutely. And is there anything that you didn't hear in the speech that you wished you had heard? Um, I, I think that all his proposals, especially with the safety proposals that he um, talked about earlier in the week and with the education, environmental aspects, I think he hit all the high points. Um, among his different proposals, which one do you think will be the toughest, the biggest battle here? Um, the biggest battle? Uh, well, I hope that education is not the biggest battle because that's where I think we need the most money to support our teaching and our students because that's what's really going to get companies to move to Delaware. So I'm hoping that's not going to be a battle and the environmental things um, to be able to address sea level rise, et cetera, is really important.